Hi, Exagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we are going to discuss network alignment portable arms. First, I'm going to grab my instrument from the home position and begin measuring some features across the top surface of my part. Using the Smart Feature option, I will begin measuring a planar feature. We will start to see the plane appear in the main graphical view. Now I'm going to measure a circle. Measure one more circle. I'll do another one. And then lastly, I'll do one to close out so we have four circles that are opposite of each other. Next, I'm going to touch the surface of the plane to deactivate it. And then I'm going to measure a sphere. Next, I'm going to go to the Features tab and select Create Point Group. Then I'm going to pick three or more points around or on my physical part that I can access if I need to move my instrument or my part to a new location. Once I'm complete, I'm going to swipe right to accept those values. And then now I'm going to put the arm back in the home position. I'm going to rename this to my first location. Then I'm going to select fit all from the main graphical view to view my features. Next, right click on the instrument and select jump. This will disconnect your first instrument and automatically add a second instrument. Now I can move my part or my instrument to a new location. Once it is securely mounted down, I can begin measuring the second point group with my new instrument inside of the software. As you think about moving your instrument or your part, try to remember the access point for the various features in the move. Now, inside of the software, I'm going to navigate back to the Features tab, and I'm going to select Create Point Group again. And then I'm physically going to take the instrument from the home position and measure the same exact points in the same order. So I'm going to measure my first point, my second point, my third my fourth, and then the fifth. Once you are complete, swipe right. And now you can place the arm back in the home position. Next, if I select the feature in the tree, hit F2, I can easily rename this to my second location. Press Enter to accept. And now I'm going to go to the Alignment tab, and I'm going to select Create Network Alignment. I'm going to select both of my instruments, press enter. I'm going to select first location and second location, press enter, and then press enter again. Now the software will go through and execute the network alignment. Inside of the properties on the right, I can look at the details to see which has the highest error of magnitude, or I can look at the nominal best fit details located below. Now that we've verified the alignment is correct, I can go to the Instrument tab and select Open Watch Window. I'm going to choose my Plane 1, press Enter. I'm going to move this to the side a little bit. And now I have the ability to take my second instrument in its new location and place the probe on the plane. Once I do this, we should see a magnitude or a deviation of error close to zero. Thank you for watching and we hope you are inspired.